I'm Realtor Scott Garrison, one of the top realtors in Orlando and Central Florida, and this is another installment of Ask a Building Inspector. I'm here with my preferred building inspector. I've been out hundreds of times on different inspections. Mike? Hey, Mike Heyman, Liberty Property Inspections. And today we're going to ask Mike, Mike, do you have a crystal ball? You know, I have a crystal ball head, but no, we don't have a crystal ball. And what that means is we can't predict the future. So I try to tell our clients when they ask, am I going to have an AC issue? Amen. That's a big question. If the AC is working when we're there, it could have an issue when we leave. That's based on how is it taken care of prior to. For sure. It's a mechanical item. So the reason we bring these things up is people ask me all the time, is this going to fail? Is that going to fail? Did the house pass? Did the ha house fail? And a home inspection is not pass or fail. That's kind of like asking, I'm going to drive across country. Am I going to get a flat tire? Uh, get probably not. I can look at your tires. Did you hit a nail? I can look at your tires now. They look good now, right? right. Or you should get new ones, but it's really hard to tell. Yeah, exactly 150 miles happen. down the road. Did the nail truck you know, drop a bunch of nails on, on the roadway? You just don't know. So what I tell people is we're triage. Think of us as triage for a home. Mm -hmm. We're going to take each component, we're going to dissect it, and if there's an issue with it, say the AC is not cooling, we're going to refer you then to the per correct doctor surgeon, the AC, mm -hmm. person HVAC licensed. If the electrical has some serious issues, we're going to send you to the electrician. So thinking of it as a triage of a home system, then we put together a nice little list, basically a prescription list, if you will, and give it to the client, and then the client can take it and then have those things addressed. And the reason that we do that is to make things easy to understand for folks, because sometimes, like, this April was the driest April that we've had in Florida. For sure. Those inspections we've done, on some roof. of them... You're talking about, like, on roofs. On a roof, right? for Inspect example, roof. right? It's not Big roof. question is, is the roof leaking? Well, it's drying. And if we don't see obvious signs of leaks, sometimes you don't know until you have, now we have had four days of deluge, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of rain coming down. My house is a good example. I had it inspected. There was absolutely no signs of any kind of leaks. Now that we've had all this rain come down on the back porch over the door, we've got a little leak. There's absolutely no sign that it was leaking before. But I also have dirty gutters that I haven't cleaned out that my home inspector did point out mm -hmm. to clean out. So that's... Part two to this is make sure that you follow the advice your home inspector yeah. gives you and please read the inspections that are prepared in the summaries. So really your inspection is a snapshot, it's not a warranty. And I think a lot of times as an inspector, um, or maybe a buyer is confused, like it's a warranty, like you're guaranteeing the AC is going to... Correct. Work. And you can't guarantee the AC is going to work, the plumbing is not. There's actually warranty companies that you can buy, yep. a warranty from, but they don't guarantee that it's going to work. They just charge you so much money that even if it breaks, they can still make a profit. So there really is no warranty. So you're just looking at like how it is today. Correct. And, and Mike does that with precision. Like of all the building inspectors I've done um, and I've worked with, um, I've been out with Mike. I've been out on probably 500 inspections maybe in my lifetime, 26 years. Um, and I've seen a lot of people not give the right information or not even know what to say, right? And so Mike knows what to say. He can give me the estimate and the, the what it's going to look like now. But then tomorrow we get a bad windstorm, something else could happen, right? Correct. Correct. And that's why you call me, your favorite realtor, and let me refer a repairman to you who can come out and fix it for you. Unfortunately, you got to pay for that, right? The joy yeah. of property ownership. Anything else you'd like to say about that? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. We hit the nail on the head, as it were. So, uh, signing okay, off. Thanks.